Hey, welcome to uh, Covenant Keepers Ministries. Today is Friday, January the 19th, 2024. Every day this week, I've been reading John 3, 16 through 21. Okay, the expression of God's love to us and the instruction that if we choose not to believe in him, we're condemned already. Let me read it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed on the name of the only begotten son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they are done in God. Now I know we're living in distressing times. And if we keep our eyes on things above and not on things of earth, we will not only have a knowledge of this God who sent his son to give us everlasting life, but we will have the experience of that life within us. According to Romans, it teaches us the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. You and I should be assured of our redemption, not unsure, but assured of it. The word of God and the spirit of God confirm it to us personally. He witnesses to our spirit that we're children of God. So that we're not stressing about all the things that happen on the planet. Coming to the light and allowing God's word and the Holy Spirit freedom to chasten, rebuke, and correct our lifestyle. That is thinking patterns, behavior, speech, interpersonal relationships, our love and compassion for others, and most of all, our pleasing life to God, when we allow the Holy Spirit and the word of God to correct us, chasten, rebuke us wherever we're falling short, then we're in transit to glory. Hallelujah. We're in a process of sanctification which moves us from glory to glory. So don't allow the craziness of of this world to distract you from following hard after God. God in covenant with us has guaranteed to be our protector, our shield and the lifter of our head. So the challenge with all the things happening in our world is to stay near to God. The challenge is obey what he's told us to do in his word. The challenge is to pray without ceasing. Engage the world we live in with God's grace and his spirit. And I want you, when you walk away from this video devotional today to, with assurance from God's word that he's with you, he's not gonna leave you. And I want you to leave with that assurance from this time frame. And so I wanna read a story to you out of the word of God. It's powerful. I'm praying this will build your faith. It's found in 2 Kings chapter 6, 8 through 23. Now the king of Syria was making war against Israel and he took counsel with his servants saying, my camp will be in such and such a place. And the man of God sent to the king of Israel saying, beware that you do not pass this place for the Syrians are coming down there. And the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the men of God had told him. Thus he warned him, and he was watching there, not just once or, or twice. Therefore, the heart of the king of, Assyria, of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing. He called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet who's in Israel, tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. So he said, Go and see where he is, that I may send and get him. And it was told him, saying, Surely he is in Dalton. Therefore he sent horses and chariots and a great army there. 
And they came by night, surrounded the city. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Wow. I'm praying right now that God will open your eyes. I don't know what distress you're in, but see, he so loved you that he sent his son. not to condemn you, but to present you an opportunity to believe, take the, the wrath of God off of you, place it on Jesus, and you could have life. And then God says, in covenant with you, I promise to protect you, shield you, take care of you. Now you have a part, and your part is to obey what he tells you to do, to live in agreement with him, not in disagreement with him. And here's, here's the king of Syria, and he's going to, come down and take care of this Elisha who prophetically could see where the king of Syria was going and he warned Israel. And so the servant of Elisha wakes up in the morning and, and here's the chariots and horses of the king of Assyria and they're around Dothan and, and now what, is, what are we gonna do? And Elisha says, well, do not fear for those who are with us are more than they who are with them. So if you don't get anything else out of this week of devotions, I gotta tell you this. Those with you, hallelujah. Those with you are more than those out there. All the demons of hell, every work of Satan, every person who's filled with evil and darkness, there's more with you than are with them. And I'm not talking about numbers of people. God surrounded you with angels. He surrounded you with songs of deliverance. He says, don't be afraid. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am that God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Don't be afraid. God is with you. He sacrificed his son for your redemption. He's watching over your life. He who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ, Philippians 1, 6. And then I pray this over you in 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful who also will do it. May that be all over your spirit today. Come aside with Jesus. He loves you. You're not condemned because you've chosen to believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And you brought your deeds to the light because you've been living in truth. And if you haven't, bring them now and turn from those which are evil. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. God fights for you today. God bless.